I, 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 here go another one. Okay, remember I said in my other video that my father was cheating on his second wife and I was dating the daughter. All right, like I said she was loaded. She had mad paper. So she invested in a snow cone machine. So, uh, fuck if I wanted to do it or not, my father included me any fucking way. So, it was uh, her daughter and her son, me. Like I said, they had money. Money was no object to these people. Where to us, it was a daily fucking challenge to even be able to get five dollars. And tune in for the story about that. My father would take his last fucking 10 and buy some fucking lottery tickets. I'm like, can we just go get some fucking cornflakes and milk or some bologna and bread? Tune in for that one. Anyway, let me get back to this one. All right, we're running the snow cone machine thing. And it's working. People actually coming by buying a snow cone. Prince uh, made rest in peace. It just came out with purple rain. The purple rain moving and everything. So... They will go out of town. They went out of town. I think they was gone for about a week and a half. I'm running it by myself, right? Do you know when they got back, this motherfucker gave them money like they was there and that I fucking went out of town? <clears throat> and then I asked them, I said, well, where's my money at? Oh, you mean when I took you to Taco Bell? Yeah, I took out for that. Boy, I'm going to have to knock the shit out of that motherfucker. That's why I said when he died, oh, man, it that song by Anita Baker, you Anita Baker, you bring me joy. Oh, I was so glad that motherfucker left. And he was cremated. Good. Motherfucker can't come back ever fucking again. Right? Right. Now, fast forward it to last time I told you I saw my former favorite third oldest brother. And he had uh took me over to see my mother. I said it just got a nice ass fucking condo with the money. From my late grandparents and she wasted her whole fucking life to wait for them to die to get the insurance money to get. I was offended that the bitch was still alive. Uh, and my uh, oldest sister was over there and she got a real nice, sweet adopted daughter. Sweetest pie once again. One of them situations where caught in the mix of a bad situation, victim of circumstance. Okay, so... <clears throat> when they, I, you know, when he had died, because my uh, sister from my father's second marriage had told me when he died, she was there, my stepmother was there from his second marriage, and my former favorite third oldest brother was there. So when they all was over at the condo he took me over to, you know, the stuff that was in his uh, apartment when he died or whatever, they got it. So it still was all there. So they, you know, they started crying and stuff. Um, <clears throat> they got mad with me. My mother, my oldest sister, and uh, my former favorite third oldest brother, they all got mad with me because I wasn't crying. No, no drop tear, no raindrops, no, 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 nothing. But I was nice enough to genuinely consult them because everybody has their own special meaning and memories of their parents. And I know that they in denial and all that, you know, and he butt fucked all of them by ripping them off and treating them like shit and according to them, no, that's dad, that's money. All right. You know, I don't give a fuck who they is. Fuck them. So I consult them, you know, and no, they're going to get mad at me because of the fact I wouldn't cry. Then, let me back it up a little bit. Then my uh, sister from my father's second marriage, when she told me that my father had died, she going to throw up in my face. Oh, yeah. And remember you told me that if mom and dad died, not to tell anybody. <laughs> Do you remember when I tell you yet? When you tell me yet? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. 
And it, it shocked her because she was expecting because it was real. And I was going to be, oh, no. <laughs> fuck the nigga. Yeah, I fucking said it. What about it? And the thing is, is that, see, I'm out to break this sick ass demonic shit that's going on in black families secretively. I'm sure that there's other videos on here about this. I'm sure. It's just, it's the internet is such a beautiful thing. Social media is such a beautiful thing. Technology is such a beautiful thing. It's limitless. So I'm sure there's plenty of them on there. I just haven't had a chance to come across as many because I've seen some here and there. I have. Some I've listened to and, you know, you know how it is. You come across something great and so many things pop up. I'm like, okay, let me log that in the playlist. I'm going to have to get back to that when I get a chance. But I'm saying that to say this. Um, it was a song I used to hear. I was about 15 years old. It was called Children Hold On To Your Dreams. And that song carried me through a lot of hard, tough times. Dealing with fake ass family members. You know, because um, you know how your ear can start ringing? It's the old saying of somebody talking about you. Mine be ringing like motherfucking cell phone or Michigan Bell, it'd be ringing like a motherfucker. Ding, 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 Because I don't give a fuck. I'm the most proud, rebellious one in the motherfucking family. And I'm proud of it. Because I knew that I was not going to be able to get away from them sick, evil, twisted, dysfunctional, demon-ass, motherfucking, fake-ass family members Unless I coated myself with extraordinary, self-taught, self-contained, fearless confidence. And I'm here to spread it as much as possible among my viewers that might be going through the same thing. Hope you ain't. But maybe. Or you may know somebody that you care about that you cannot really help physically that you could tell them about this video and they can watch it on their own time when they fake ass family members ain't trying to destroy their fucking life so that they can continue to have hope and get out too before it's too late. So put your comments in the comment section. Don't you go anywhere.